let's take a look at this problem. We got x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals 0. And we want to solve it using complete and square. Now our first step is to divide everything by the number in front of our x squared. But there is no number in front of our x squared. Step 2, take the number constant term to the right side. So I'll take the negative 2 over. So we'll have x squared plus 5x is equal to 2. Step 3, take the number that's before our x, which in this case is 5, sign included. Multiply it times a half and square it. Well, 5 times a half is 5 halves squared. 5 squared is 25, and 2 squared gives us 4. So we get 25 fourths. And then we want to add that to both sides. So we got x squared plus 5x plus 25 over 4. Now this is a mixed number, so we can take 2 times 4 gives us 8, plus 25, um, drawing a real blank here, 33 I think? Let's see, 25 and 8, 8, 9, 3, yeah, 33. Okay, and um, step 4. I would say I'm tired, but I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> um, step 4, factor the left side. So this factors as x plus 5 half squared equals 33 over 4. Now remember the trick to that. Whatever number's right here, uh, sign included, is always what goes right here. So there really is no factoring on that. Step 5, use the square root property to solve for x. So we'll drop our squared and put plus or minus square root around the other side. Now we can't have a um, fraction inside of radicals, so we'll split it up. We'll put a square root around the top and square root around the bottom, which works out nice. 33 doesn't break down, it's 3 times 11, but square root 4 is 2. Now I'll take the 5 halves over, it becomes a negative 5 halves, plus or minus, square root of 33 over 2. And typically simplified form means to get a single fraction. So we'll go ahead and merge these together, and we'll have negative 5 plus or minus square root of 33 over 2. And that's our answer.